Would you rather be right or happy? That expression used to piss me off because you know what? I wanted to be right. To be honest, I still really, really like to be right. I told you so. I knew I was right. <laughs> Especially, you know, when you know you're right and someone else is so wrong and they insist that they're right. It feels good to be right. But it feels even better to be wrong. Stick with me. To admit that you're wrong means especially like if you're wrong about something like say a lovely belief that I used to have men are all assholes. I was so happy to find out I was wrong about that. Not all men are assholes. And when I let go of that belief and I thought, Hmm, I was actually a bartender at the Burbank airport and these men started coming into the bar and they were like salt of the earth. I met men who's like, wives left them and they were raising their four kids or just like really good kind men and it it changed my life i i stopped dating creepy guys because <laughs> it changed my life and so being wrong was fantastic so what uh, jesus says in the course of miracles would you rather be right or happy and a lot of people say would you rather be right or happy and like i said that used to really piss me off because I wanted to be right. I like to be right. I still like to be right. But I like to be wrong even more if what I'm wrong about is something that was really fucking up my life, <laughs> making me unhappy. I'd rather be happy is my answer now. A thousand percent. And things are really crazy right now politically. It is September 2024. We're getting up ready for a pretty important election. And if it's in politics or religion, or no matter what it is, there are certain areas of life where people get really, 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 really heated and really attached, especially politics and religion. That's why they say, don't ever talk about politics and religion, but that's like the juicy stuff of life, right? People get very attached that their way is the way, that there's only one way and their way is the one way, the right way. So to admit that you're wrong is like, uh, they can't do it. We can't do it. If I admit I'm wrong, my entire world will collapse. If there isn't, uh, if this code that I believe in isn't correct and true and right, then the world will stop spinning on its axis. We, we cling to being right out of fear. And anything that we do out of fear in general is not a super healthy vibe, right? It doesn't feel good. So would you rather be right or would you rather be happy? I mean, sometimes you can be right and happy, but sometimes admitting that you're wrong is so great. Oh my gosh, the best way to, to end an argument is to say, you know what, you're right. I am so wrong. I couldn't be more wrong. I am so wrong about this. You were right the whole time. I'm sorry, I was wrong. I got it wrong. That the other person cannot argue with you. So I just wanted to make a real short video because I wanted to share the joy of being wrong. When you, when you admit that you're wrong, you realize that you're wrong, it means that you can let go of that thing that you believed and clung to so tightly. And now you open up space for the truth and the truth will set you free but first it might piss you off. <laughs> but ultimately, the truth will set you free. So be willing to be wrong today. And see, allow for the possibility that being wrong, it just means that you didn't know better. When you admit that you're wrong, you can learn the real truth and you can be free and happy of the bullshit belief that you thought was true that's not really true. Men aren't all assholes. Most men and lots of men are awesome and good and kind. <sighs> that feels so much better. <laughs> and maybe the universe is friendly. I don't know. Find out for yourself. Okay. Be willing to be wrong. See how that feels. Take care. Mwah.